In this tip of the week, we will look at how to use the calendar to track activities and schedule appointments. The calendar is a great way to view everything you have to do for all of your courses in one place. You can view calendar events by week, month, or agenda list. The view you choose dictates the display and style of the calendar window. By default, the calendar displays in month view. The sidebar on the right shows a quick view calendar, your list of courses and group calendars, and undated items for the selected courses and groups. Each personal, course, or group calendar is identified by a separate color that populates the calendar view. Calendars that are not active display as faded text. To select or hide a calendar, click the box next to the name of the calendar. Each item on the calendar is color-coded to match the courses or calendars in the sidebar. You can add events to your personal calendar at any time by clicking the Add button or the plus sign in the top menu, or by simply clicking on the date that you want to add the event to and completing the information in the pop-up window. For example, I have a paper due on Friday the 23rd. On the 20th, I may add a to-do item to finish my rough draft. And maybe I'm going to have a note that I want to email it to my sister for a review. Press Submit. Even though this to-do list item is for my film studies course, the item is in blue because by default, the item has gone to my student calendar. You can click on the assignment to edit or delete it. If you want to change the date of an item that you have added to the calendar, you can click and drag it to another date, and it will automatically update. Instructors can create appointment groups with time slots that students can sign up to meet with them, such as for office hours or to schedule presentation times. To sign up for an appointment offered by an instructor, make sure that you are in the calendar from the global navigation menu and that the course calendar is selected. Then click the Find Appointment button and select the course from the drop-down menu if you have more than one course calendar enabled. Press Submit. All available appointments will show up on the calendar. To sign up for an appointment, click on the time slot you want to sign up for and click the Reserve link. You can also leave a comment for the instructor if you would like to. If the instructor made the appointment signups visible to all students, other students will see your name associated with that reservation, as well as any comments you leave in the appointment comment field. Once you have reserved a time slot in an appointment group, it will appear as faded, and the calendar icon will show a check mark. Calendar items, including available appointment hours, will appear on your agenda list. You can also reserve and unreserve appointments from this agenda view. To cancel an appointment reservation, click on the time slot that you reserved and click the Unreserve link. You will be prompted to type a reason for why you are canceling the reservation. Confirm that you want to cancel the reservation by clicking the Delete button. That time slot will once again become available for another student to reserve, and you can select a different time to sign up for your appointment. If a time slot has been reserved by another student, it will not appear as an option for you in the Appointments Available list. If you have already reserved an appointment time, and you don't want to cancel your appointment, or provide the instructor with details on why you are canceling that time slot, you can choose to just switch your appointment time. Click on the appointment of the time you want to reserve, click Reserve, and you can verify that you would like to reschedule the appointment. Your agenda and the calendar will reflect the updated appointment time. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please refer to the following guides.